it's summertime bringing you another video so today we're gonna dive back into the life of the sim that we created last time uh sonia and we're gonna create her house now i debated whether i should create a house from scratch or just go to the gallery and just find like a template or a shell i think i'm gonna do the latter only because hear me out realistically when you are starting off and you don't have a lot of money you don't build your own house, you buy an existing one and then renovate it. So I want to do that and uh, not because I'm lazy. All right, so here we are. So today it's so dark outside. What time is it? 8.27 PM. Okay. Change that later. We're going to hop into build mode. I'm trying to figure out Sonya's style. So in the last video, we're trying to figure out who Sonya was. And what was her style? What was her fashion choices? Now, we're trying to figure out what's her house style. You know, we're probably gonna use a cheater too to begin with, but after that, I don't really want to do anything. Like, eventually, a really modern mansion would be a cool idea, but just starting off, you know, she's not gonna have that kind of money. All right, let's just look up starter and see what we get. Okay, okay. We got some, oh, this is cute. Wait. I like that! It looks really dumb on this big lot, but there is room for growth, which I like. Okay, little front door. Solid. I, th I like this one. This is it. Now what do we have here? This has a brick wall, so like that inclines me to think that this is a kitchen, and I think this is also supposed to be a bathroom. So we'll put that there. So we'll put that there. We're gonna put like a little dining area right there, kitchen here, and then you go all the way back to like the entertainment living room. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's do that. I think I wanna do modern, but like not too classy and amazing. And then we ran out of money. <sighs> not so worrying. <laughs> but I think right next to the trash can, it's good to have the fridge. You know, why not? Actually, let's put sink here and then stove here. That's good. Cabinets. I honestly really don't love the white version of these cabinets, but for the sake of matching, we'll do that. Let's add the exhaust for the stove. I think we can put like a little, a little rug down, like in front of like the sink. So we need one countertop available. She's probably gonna end up going to the bathroom sink anyways, but whatever. And some tea in the back there. I think while we're here, she can start practicing her mixology skills. So we'll put like a little bar. That, let me just check that you can use that. Okay, cool. I think we'll add more stuff to the kitchen, but I like keeping it open just cause like the door's right there. Um, so for a cute little dining area, I mean, she's not gonna have many people over, so it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, that's not bad. That's, that's good. That can fit like a good amount of people too. This would be a good place to put like the laundry and stuff to pretend that's detergent or something. I don't know. I will put some bar decorations on the wall here. Something like that. Nice. This is the bathroom on the first floor, so we don't need like a shower or anything. Put a little toilet roll right there. Mm, we might embellish that later on, but I think that's good for now. Okay, this living room. Maybe having a fireplace would be nice. Like this little spring thing. We'll put a TV like right on top of it right there. Again, that's good for now. We can like add like things for hobbies and stuff later, but I think that's like a good starting point. Okay, now for the bedroom. So you come in from the door right there. I think just having the bed along these windows is like kind of a the great option right here. There we go. I like that. And then I think that's like a nice like you know version of a bed when you're cheap and can't afford like a like a whole bed frame and stuff like that so i think that's good okay i think we're gonna have a full closet because we have the room so why not okay is that kind of right on top of the bed yes do i care too much i think to start out she's not gonna have like a full like shower and bath double delight thing because she's on a budget but we can still have a pretty nice shower and then we'll just have the toilet right there okay i think we covered everything let's see 
cute little walk-in space with the laundry machines. A lot of decoration in this corner because I got a little carried away. You walk in, you have a little dining area. You got a bar right here and like the rest of the kitchen. You got this pretty minimal living room, but like we'll get to it. You know, she's just starting out. Got this cute little bathroom on the first floor. A little empty, but again, we'll get to it. Go upstairs and you've got this bedroom. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Got all the essentials and then a little bathroom right here. And that is it. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's little episode. It was a short but sweet one. You know, I think they're gonna be a little longer as we progress. So next time we're going to start Sonia's life, um, start a career, meet some people, all that stuff. In the next couple days as well, I'll create a video kind of introducing all the other characters I have in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next one.